Hey, quick question. How many note-taking apps have you tried? You have tried them all, haven't you? From Evernote to Notion. What if I tell you that the most powerful app is on your device already? Okay, let's check it out what Apple Notes can actually do. First thing I want to show you is how you can create quick links with the notes. For example, like here, if you type two arrows or greater than sign two times and then the name of your note and then you created your linking between notes. It's pretty handy if you have multiple notes that you like to link together. And next example, if you hit command K, and then you can add some links. Let's go with this one and you can give it a name, for example, Vision Pro. And then if you click it, you are directed to the website. You can, if you open the tab already, if you click on this sign and then you can see at link, it will directly add the link to the web page you're currently visiting. It's worked for all browsers like Brave, Chrome, Safari and Arc. If you have a video, uh, let's assume you want to check this video, of course you can click share and then share with your notes, but I prefer to click this one and the cool thing if you have a video inside you can directly watch the video in the notes and take your notes it's pretty cool it works on phone and ipad as well next feature is pretty cool as well i use it very often is you can directly link to your email here the right side i have my email app open if you drag and drop the email here it will directly a link to your email and then you can a hyphen it and review it later that's crazy. Five impression for my last post. Pretty handy. Cool. Close the email app and then if you click here, you can see it's automatically open direct to the email. Okay, that's all cool features. But how this works if you want to review, keep reminder of this note we created. It's pretty simple. If you click on this share icon and click reminder and it will create a note. If we go to our reminder app here, you can see it's linked directly to the notes and it's created like a quick note. If we click here and then we will directly go to the note. This is like my favorite feature. I use it all the time. Pro tip. Um, if you have a long note with a lot of notes, you probably notice you cannot share with the reminder app but we have a workaround if you select this text here and then press control click or right click if you're using external mouse and then you share and now you have an opportunity to share it review the last book you can share it with reminders and then once again if you click you jump to the note again let's take a look at another example let's assume you write it a little story for your next book or for your next homework and you did it all in Apple Notes, but you want to put it in pages. You can easily do it if you click once again, share notes and open in pages. It's a possibility as well. So it will prepare. If you open pages here, it will automatically format the title, the subtitles and everything else. Now you have no excuses anymore to start writing your first book in notes and then you can export it to pages and continue writing and finish your first book. Next feature is the search function is crazy good in, in Apple Notes. If you hover over this icon here, if you click, you have a couple options here to find exactly what you want. For example, let's go for the notes with drawings and you can see it's like, I don't know when I did it, 2022. And you have everything here, what you write it down. You have, you can see it, I have a lot of different drawings, but the most powerful tool I use all the time, Apple Notes have the ability to search in picture. Okay, let me explain. If we go over this one you can see here's the attachment if i click here and it will search in the picture this is pretty cool for your information this feature works on iphone and ipad much better than it's on mac if you try to search something in picture try it on your phone you get better results this feature i just discovered recently if you put a date here and then right click or control click you can create the event in the calendar let's check what today's valentine's day 
then you can name your event if you know from meeting you can choose a calendar let's go with 12 and add to calendar and then you can see it's directly in the calendar unfortunately you cannot link back to the node i recently discovered it's pretty useful for me all right next feature i will show you how you can achieve this one and this feature works only on mac however if you press shift command c and then you have different colors here and then you can choose to change the color now let's go with this one uh, of course you have to select the text first and then you just change the color and if you go on your phone the color will be 12 shown but you cannot change it in iphone it only works on mac this feature is pretty handy i call it replace feature so if you press shift command f and then you want to play replace x and you can see it and replaces with y and then o and then you can see it replace the x with y it's pretty handy if you have some names or something in your story or assignment you wanted to change this is a quick way to do it if you go here to format and then text and you can put it to the central or to the right side i just want to share with you that it's possible as well next feature is quick notes if you go to the right corner here and you can see it's a quick note i have already a quick note in the current book i'm reading have you ever wondered what this button exactly do if you click on it you have a nice gallery view and you can see everything in preview what is in the note inside pretty useful if you want to find fast your notes if the search function didn't find it i highly recommend to use gallery view and then you can very fast through it and check if you can find it faster let's take a look to the sidebar and the folders if you wonder how you can activate this one you have this icon if you click on it it will slide off or slide in now let's create a folder new folder it's called youtube demo and the cool part if you create a new folder again a demo then you can nest folder let me explain what you what i mean if you drop it down here then it's a folder in the folder you can see i have now three levels down from the folder and you can drop it down and then you have only this one it's pretty useful if you use your system for organization like project area resource and archive you also can create a smart folder let me explain what the smart folder is if we again click here you can either convert to smart folder let's use this for example you created a folder here and you can go convert to smart folder what exactly it's doing it's at like a hashtag and every node with this hashtag it will appear here you can edit smart folder and you can select for example different properties here date created shared mention checklist and everything what you write or create note it will directly appear here it's pretty useful if you use like for meetings if you choose a tag for meetings and it will directly your filter here the only downside you cannot put it in subfolders i don't know why apple not allow us to do it let's go here with another test note test note 2 and then youtube demo and then you can see it will automatically sort here it's pretty handy you can choose your own filter what you want to exactly filter by now uh, it's super useful highly recommend to try it out okay let's take a look at what you can do with the text you have different text here let's go with the youtube demo if you click on it you can see uh, everything will appear here if you don't want to waste time to sort everything in folders you just tag them and you can easy find them very quick i use checklist a lot for traveling or if i leave the house what i have to do like turn off the light and air condition stuff like this i don't want to remind myself every time well, i have these checklists it's pretty handy let's take a look what you can do with images in apple notes by default it's like this big picture but if you select it and right click and view as large or you can view it as small then you save some space it's sometimes very useful for me at least next feature is uh, pretty useful especially if you have already couple apple products make a picture from your iphone or ipad let's go with take a picture and voila it's 
directly here. We can use the tactic we learned before, make picture small and we are ready to go. It's also working with scanning documents. I use it all the time if you want to scan some bills. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you learned something new. And of course, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch more videos, I will link everything here. Highly recommend to check it out. See you in the next one.